Welcome back to Skywatch Media News. Our sun is waking up and entering a period of hyperactivity that is expected to last for many years. Powerful bursts of electromagnetic energy are occurring on the sun's surface, which could lead to serious problems for our planet. The Earth has become far more vulnerable to the effects of solar activity, primarily because of our dependence on electricity and to our interconnectivity to the world by means of the Internet. Understanding the adverse effects of the sun can only be accomplished through a genuine knowledge of these solar cycles. Every 11 years, the sun's magnetic fields become unstable, whereby they abruptly flip, which throws the sun's polarity out of sync. This causes instability in the magnetic fields at the surface of the sun, which in turn allows the sun to enter into a period known as a solar maximum. This instability leads to gigantic sunspots on the surface of the sun. These tremendous sunspots are taking place at this moment as evidenced on June 26th, when a hole the size of 30 Earths was spotted by the Solar Dynamic Observatory. NASA has indicated that it is much more likely that the Sun will thrust the electromagnetic energy in the direction of the Earth during this period of solar maximum. The charged particles that are thrust into space have the potential of disrupting our upper atmosphere, thus creating problems for air travel, leading to an influx of grounded flights due to a lack of radio and satellite communications. So when the sun is active, as it is now, we can expect more frequent and more lengthy delays. Of course, delays in travel are the least of our worries. When geomagnetic storms interfere with the magnetic charge in the upper atmosphere, it creates currents which interact with particles in the ground, which create powerful electrical currents that can infiltrate the infrastructure on our planet. This can lead to some rather strange phenomena on Earth. Back in the summer of 1972, U.S. Navy pilots flying near Haiphong Harbor in North Vietnam saw something unexpected. They observed two dozen sea mines suddenly explode and without apparent explanation. Years later, a declassified report was made public which referenced that a huge solar storm had pummeled the Earth's magnetosphere in August of 72, which, as a result, set off the sea mines in the harbor. If a huge magnetic storm was heading towards Earth, one that would spread charged particles towards the equator, the energy would be so immense that it could easily knock out the Earth's power grid for weeks and even months, which means that things could get ugly very quickly. We have been fortunate so far with the worst solar event taking place back in the year 1859. But back then we didn't rely on electricity as we do today. But if we are to be reminded of just how vulnerable we are, we only need to venture back to July of 2012 when a massive solar flare nearly caused a worldwide catastrophe. A massive CME, as seen from the Helio viewer, took place one week prior to the Earth being in a direct line of fire. If the storm had hit the Earth, it would have wiped out power grids, disabling everything that plugs into a wall socket. It is very likely that during this cycle the auroras will become much larger, cover a broader area, and become more intense. The currents that flow in the Earth's atmosphere are there most of the time, but their intensity grows as a result of a geomagnetic storm. The effects of these solar flares are being seen, as was evidenced earlier this year when auroras were observed in the southern UK. Back on March 24th, 
a coronal hole wider than 30 Earths produced the most powerful storm in six years. The storm caused a massive disturbance in the Earth's magnetic field, spreading auroras across the United States. Yet no one saw it coming. As for the surface of the sun, it is erupting in some very unusual ways. As seen here, a rare polar vortex was spotted by NASA earlier this year. The massive prominence emerged from the solar north pole before breaking away and swirling into a vortex. And in this recent image, a plasma waterfall was captured from the sun's surface as it nears a peak of activity. In another unusual solar phenomenon, NASA captured a giant churning tornado on its surface, which was as tall as 14 Earths hurling plasma into space. The prominence, known as a polar crown filament, was captured in March of this year, and although it may for a stunning spectacle, it posed no apparent effects upon the Earth. With the ramping up of the sun, astronauts must be especially mindful of space radiation and its lethal effects as NASA prepares to send a crew to the moon and eventually to Mars. Our space travelers have been fortunate thus far, as none have been severely affected by radiation. But back in August of 1972, there were two Apollo spaceflight missions that just narrowly escaped huge solar flares, which would have been fatal for those crews. The solar storm in 72 was legendary because it took place in between two missions. The crew of Apollo 16 had returned to Earth in April of that year, and the crew of Apollo 17 was preparing for a moon landing in December of 72. So as NASA and SpaceX beef up future missions, they will have to prepare for solar storms, even though there is no sure way to shield astronauts in space. So here is the bottom line, and most likely the reason why NASA is sounding the alarm regarding superstorms during this sunspot cycle. With each year that passes, the human race becomes more dependent on electrical infrastructure. Now, the previous solar cycle was relatively quiet, as there were very few solar events of any significance, becoming the weakest cycle in over 100 years. And therefore, because of the previous lack of activity, the world has likely been lulled into a false sense of security. One can only hope that our planet doesn't witness another 1859 event or the superstorm that narrowly missed us in 2012. Solar cycle 25 wasn't expected to be as strong as it is today, but now it is on pace to supersede some of the stronger cycles of the 20th century. As of the end of June, the sunspot count has hit a 21-year high. The last time that numbers were this high was in 2003, which was the year that a powerful coronal mass ejection was detected at the edge of our solar system by the Voyager spacecraft. As bad as it all seems, we are getting better at spotting and preparing for solar storms. Over time, scientists are learning more about our sun and are expected to learn more this year as the Parker Solar Probe continues its solar journey to provide incredible images and intriguing new data. As you look up, you see the sky transformed into shades of orange during sunrise and sunset. It is a color that gives you hope, knowing that the sun will set only to rise again. Thanks for watching.